celebration of the Premier League. It's Leicester City against Manchester City. So without further ado, we take you to Leicester. Here's your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Hello again, everybody. Welcome to our game today. The weather has been a bit of a problem. The snow is falling. We got here just about, and the teams have got here, and they've got to be. And they've scored! And the first goal will be such a boost to them. Well, the ball's gone in, and I think it's down to the conditions. Tough for the goalkeeper. But the ref said we're going to play, and that's what you've got to deal with. He couldn't deal with that. No, he couldn't. And uh, look at him. He's having a little stare at the referee, because I think in normal conditions, he would have saved that. Well, it's not coincidence. How many goals has he scored during his career? Close range shots. In with a chance. And Schwarzer with a save. A superb stop. Now they've got a corner on the attack again, the team that's leading by one goal. Di Michaelis, safe hands from the keeper from that shot. Vincent Company, the visiting team, Alan, would have wanted to come here with their first choice centre back, but he's injured. Yeah, and he's a dominant player for them. He organises them from the back, so they'll miss that. And there is some uh, backup for him in this position. Too eager, too early offside. Let's go over to Stamford Bridge and Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Chelsea. It's been scored by Diego Costa. He made heavy weather of the finish with the goal gaping. He only just steered the ball home off the far post. Eight minutes played, 1-0. Cheers, Alan. Silva. Silver. That's courageous goalkeeping to come out where the boots are flying. It's so important for the modern day keeper to, to adopt a good starting position and to act as the, as the sweeper for that back four. Silver. Oh, he's through. Here's the chance. And they've got in to score here. Super break put the move together very quickly and clinically and got their reward. Well, once they found that final pass, the player in possession, he's in great form. You never thought he was going to miss. Now it's 2-0. to get away because that's a great tackle can we have another look at the goal yes yeah the lad will be pleased to look back on that tonight I think and the cross comes in now and the defender has coped well with that cross he's being challenged now play stopped by Lee Probert no difficulty for the ref here because that should be a booking and it is when well, you look at the ref and his view he was right on top of it so uh, he knew what he wanted to do there oh we did pretty well to get that close from there can't believe he actually tried a shot but uh, he made the keeper work silver well let's go over to the emirates stadium and hear from alan McAnally. it's a goal for arsenal it's been scored by Danny Welbeck. A long, hopeful ball forward, and the defender got underneath the ball, only succeeding in... Got to be. Oh, he's hit that well, but not quite well enough. I'm sorry we had to cut short Alan McAnally then, but the Arsenal scored in the game, and that's the first goal of the game. It's 1-0. Silva. chance here well, the attack has done well beaten his man
James Milner. Silva. Opportunity here, in with a chance. Well, it was a shot, and I think it's a bit unfair of the uh, home fans to be so ironic about it. Maybe he'll keep trying and put one in the top corner. That'll shut them up. Yeah, maybe so, but that one wasn't one of his best, was it? Silva. James Milner. Milner. This could be it. Here's the chance. Well, he got away, and it looked as though he was going to score so close. Decent effort, Alan. Well, he did everything right, or nine-tenths right at least. Just that final finish. Couldn't manage it. Nasri. Silva. Silva. Here he is with a chance. Got to be. Oh, well reached by the keeper to turn it away. At the Liberty Stadium, Alan McAnally has got some news for us. It's a goal for Tottenham Hotspur. It's been scored by Jan Vertonghen. A great angled fin. In with a chance. He's had a crack. Well, he's missed it, hasn't he? What a good chance that was for him. Milner. McAnally, who loves his football and he's enjoying this game, I can tell that, but just a quick word from him about that Spurs goal. The score is now 1-0. Mark Schwarzer, he's not been in good form at all, Alan, has he? But he's been picked to start today. Yeah, I did wonder about that, Martin, but we could be in. He's in the clear. Here's the chance. Goalkeeper hasn't had to move for that. Silver. He might be through. Got to be. Well done, the goalkeeper. But this time, he hasn't let the play. He's beaten him already. Get another goal today. No, I thought he should have got his second, though, because that was perhaps even a better chance than the first. Field three, Bonnie. Silver. Great opportunity. In with a chance. Oh, that's a fantastic goal. It's turning out to be his day, his second goal. And it's so hard to counter Martin, that one, two touch stuff. And the understanding between this team, well, the opposition couldn't get near. Well, this team is taking a resounding lead. Different type of challenge for the defenders here, but they can use the snow in tackles like that. It's Robert Hoot. Cambiasso. And that's the referee signalling for half-time, blowing his whistle, and it's 3-0 here yeah. at half-time. Well, we wondered whether there might be an upset here, but the side that are really the favoured side are very much on the front. Well, after the first half, there's only one team in it, but another 45 minutes left. Esteban Cambiasa. Cambiasa. Silva. Field three, Boni. Here's an opportunity, maybe. Here's the shot. Well, that was the shot, and not a bad effort. No, not bad, but uh, under the circumstances for a player at this level, you would hope that he, he can work the keeper there. Field three, Boni. And coming up for you on EA Sports, that Premier League fixture... Manchester City will be hosting Crystal Palace. Yeah, a lot of people have been talking about this one. Looking forward to it. It's with Toure. Opportunity here. And the shot's on. And it's in for the goal. the best he's made them play and that completes a wonderful hat trick and that's a goal well worth analyzing again
Big lead now. And he should see it safely home from here. Cambiasso. Oh, he's true. Oh, he's broken away. Well, he has a go. Oh, the goalkeeper saved it. Well, on those one-on-one -on -one situations, it's difficult for both parties, but the keeper came out on top there. Silva. Guilfrey Bonny. A shot making the goalkeeper's job pretty routine. Silva. And the offside stops the play. Flag went up. Referee Blue. And they've got two players warmed up and ready to come on. It's a chance, and here's the shot. Well, he hasn't added to his goal this time, but uh, almost. Yeah, he's looking dangerous, really, every time the ball comes in the box. Certainly the defenders have put a marking tighter. City are going to make the substitution. How about Leicester City's next game, Alan? Yeah, they're playing West Ham United in the next match in the Barclays Premier League. And the shot's off, and he's put it away. And it's a substitute who scored. He's uh, definitely come on to try and do that, and he's made his manager very pleased. It's very one-sided today. 5-0 the score. It is Manchester City that all the other teams are looking up at. They are top dog at the moment. I think they're enjoying it in many ways. It can be a burden, but uh, not for these players out there. Great chance. And he shoots, and it's hit the post and gone behind. Danny Simpson, Alan, what do you think about his form recently? Been struggling, hasn't he? It's not the kind of form that we've become accustomed to with this lad. I don't know what's going on. And now we're going to have an alteration. That's very well read, and that's a very good interception. Stevan Jovetic. Nasri. And the player working hard to stay in possession. Goalkeeper out quickly. And he's just plunged onto the ball there. Yeah, that's top class from, from him. And uh, really did help out his defenders there. Stevan Jovetic. Good tackle. He's an old-school player, that defender. He'll uh, not worry about the niceties. Just clear his lines, he's done that. Well, they're going to shuffle the pack a bit now. That's hit the bar and it's still in play. Mark Albright. Taking a touch from the player to go over the line. There'll be a signal here at the corner. It's going to be a substitution. It's going to be Manchester City to make it. He might be through. Well, this should be it. And here's the shot. It's gone in off the goalkeeper. And that's a two for him now in the game. And goodness me. He really is on top of his form and on top of the opposition. And this is interesting whether the manager is just going to switch things around a little bit. 
6-0. That might well be the final score. There's not much time there. So this is, is going to have a devastating effect on the next game, isn't it? Well, Manchester City go up against Crystal Palace after this. Played with a lot of freedom out here. I'll be really pleased. Well, no one's on the end of that cross. Silva. Mark Albright. They've got to keep the ball better than this because it's just a giveaway to the opposition. Silva. Al Clichy. penalty for Manchester City. Good penalty. That's the outcome that they wanted, certainly the penalty taker. Yeah, I mean, this boy is a composed penalty taker and he showed it there, really, really cool strike that. Not much longer to go in the game. And the game in truth is over with a scoreline like this. No surprises here, Alan. None at all. No. Oh, he's through. He's clear. Silva. Final whistle. It's Manchester City's match. The other team have been put out of their misery here because they were very much off the pace today in a one-sided contest. Well, it's totally humiliating, wasn't it? I'm sure they're willing for the ref to blow the final whistle. Well, there was really only one team in that game and their fans will be travelling home delighted with their big victory. I'll leave you with the full match highlights and until next time, I've been Jeff Stelling.